How's it going, guys? Um, well, I'm here trying to start a YouTube channel, so this is gonna be my first video upload to see how it goes. I'm gonna show you guys or girls, everyone here that's watching this, if there is anyone watching this. Um, my 2010 Ram 1500. Um, I am pretty late to the YouTube, so yeah, I already did some things to the truck, like I have a lift kit, um, let's see what else, well right now it's lifted around 7 inches, it is two wheel drive, so don't blame me for that, 7 inches, has 35s on 22s. Um, has a few aftermarket bumpers in the front and back. Um, the bed cover. I'll actually let y'all see the truck, you know? I'll explain it while I'm recording or I'll put music on top of that. But here it goes. to mention I do have aftermarket headlights and tail lights like I said I am pretty late to this YouTube so I already I've done a lot already I should have recorded them but I still have a few things coming for this build um let's start out with the front I guess most of everything I got from here is from Amazon it's just easy to find stuff on there and inexpensive but let's start out with the grill that's off in the market um your ram letters didn't come with them i ordered it uh, off the newer rims that come with the ram letters in the rear toll gate and i should use uh well they already had adhesive backing and i took off like these little clips for it could fit correctly on those I think it looks pretty good. I haven't really, I had never seen anyone with that type of style or the ram, ram letters like that. I've seen the little ones, probably like to here, to here. And then this bug cover thing, bug deflector, you could say. I just put that on this week. I painted it myself. I mean, it came out right. The thing is I put uh, some cleaner and it pretty much ate like the plastic um, some degreaser which I'm guessing the that was already prepped for paint which was my mistake but I think it came out pretty decent and I have um, barricade HD bumpers rear and back I believe that's what it's called with a small 22 inch light bar Sorry if there's wind, guys. I'm outside. And it's a little windy, not that much. Um, and got fender flares painted to match, as well as the deflector. Okay, let's go to the wheels. I have um, damn, I don't even remember what these are called. Oh, I barely put these on about a month ago. I had had these ordered for like six months and 
they just came in not too long ago. There's some cheap tires on them, but our, their RVB wheels, I like these because my, well, my personal opinion, I don't really like the ones with the, uh, with the drilled, um, like this right here. There's some, most of them have the outlines drilled. I mean, milled, I'm bad. And I'm not really a fan of that. I want this, the color scheme of this truck to be black and orange, mostly gloss black. Not really a fan of matte wheels. I feel like they get a little, they look like classy dip. But these are glossy, they are a little dirty. So, and some running boards, some cheap running boards. Um, I do have a few dents and scratches here and there. I guess nothing you can say majorly. Um, let's see, they're on 35s. So let's talk about the suspension. The front has a 4.5 spindle lift. And then it has a spacer right here, two and a half spacer. Uh, if you originally get this, kit from max track it's um the spring itself is bigger but since i bought only like half the kit a few years back and i just installed the other half this this year uh, it was a cheaper alternative than buying the spring itself because the spring itself is like 150 this cost me about 80 80 bucks um so right now it's just the front is the spacer and the spindle lift then in the rear it's 4.5 inches lifted, it looks pretty level. Oh, and the shocks I have are the Balliston uh, 5100s. So the rear has the, the bigger spring, some bracket extenders, and that's pretty much it. Let's see the rear. Sorry if I'm going too fast, guys. I mean. My first video, I'll probably remake another one of these good, plain, well, these amount of views or attention. Um, same goes for the Barricade HD rear bumper. Um, I'll talk about what I'm going to plan doing it, doing this, uh, what upgrades I'm going to be doing soon. Um, inside, since it's a little windy, I'm not sure if you could hear me quite well. Um, a few decals. I make decals. I sold them when I was in high school a few years back. I don't really make them anymore, like sell them, but I do make some, make them for like personal use. And yeah, that thing looks pretty clean like that, like in the center. Mostly when they're the orange. Um, let's see. Yeah, the tail lights. These are obviously aftermarket. At night, this right here glows like a full, like a full strip. But it's not like individual LEDs. It looks like a, I guess, like you say, like the newer Dodge Chargers, like a solid. And um, I would show you the inside. I'll probably make another video. It's pretty dirty right now. I do have a system in there, two twelves with the uh, aftermarket uh, head unit. Um, they're shallows, but enough of that. Um, that's pretty much it guys on this right here that I can talk about that. You can see on top of my head. I've done a lot of work to this truck. Had it for like around five years now so far. Tell me what you guys think, should I start? making videos, vlogs or something, just keep it real automotive style or, or what. Um, I did just get this truck back about a week ago. Reason being is my differential went out when I was on the highway. And I had it fixed once before, but I got the, the, the full axle from a salvage yard two years ago. 
and it just broke about two months ago and I had it in the shop for a while but I just did replace it not the full axle but the gears inside itself you originally had the 3.55 gear ratio but I took it to shop in Dallas yeah I'm in the Dallas Fort Worth metro area North Texas baby oh yeah but I have the new gear ratio is the 4.56 I believe um, it can handle this and it can handle the wheels and and much more for them from what I was told um, I do plan putting out fuck. fucking pointy I'm wearing shorts okay let's go back um i do plan on putting 37s on this well let me go inside and talk about what i plan on doing with the truck Alrighty, guys i'm back oh like a split sign for y'all guys i am in my office i work from home so it's a little messy in here i don't want to show that area my desk but this is the parts I have right now for the truck quite a bit my old, my old sub the new sub I have right now some work supplies okay like I said I do have a few things still that I want to put on the truck I already did a lot of the major things I wanted I should have recorded and done but who knows, I can probably, if I get a small audience, I'll continue doing more videos for you guys. Um, so let's begin. I do have a three inch body lift that I want to install myself. I just haven't had the time. And I'm thinking about recording myself doing that it's three inches has these little spaces from the frame to the body some brackets hopefully i can see things very well don't have much light in here and then after the thing is with the bottle lift it does lower the 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 stock the exhaust does stay originally where it's at so it's gonna hang low and this is why i bought new exhaust tips to match the color scheme and the brands i'm rocking i'm mostly rocking the rbp i like their styles and what they do it's a good pretty good i'm not i'm not sponsored by any means i do have to waste the little checks i get you know wife doesn't like it but oh well these are five inch tips. Let's see if I can find the information here. Four inlet, five outlet, 12 inch length. On Amazon it says it was a 3.5 inlet. I really don't care. I have to take these to the exhaust shop since I don't know how to weld. I want these welded on, not bolted. They look pretty good. Let's see if I can light here. have two of these and then because the trucks do have a door on the ramp and then I do have a cherry bomb that I put on it about three years ago it's all rusted out cheap thing I bought on Amazon for like 30 bucks um, I plan on taking that off and putting this uh, X pipe that I bought it's a 2.5 I'm gonna go a dual true dual 2.5 um pipe on the truck so yeah i want it to sound a little better hopefully it sounds better it sounds pretty good right now but i'll try to do insert a clip later i how the truck sounds and um i have rock lights as well and um, these shouldn't be too difficult to install Got these off of Amazon. Mic tuning. 
This is the eight piece. There's also also a four piece for like smaller cars and vehicles. I got this one so in case the forest didn't really light up that much. This is the only one I could find that had decent reviews on Amazon that were decently priced. These were around 89, I believe. You can go with better brands and pay like a $200 range, which to be honest, I don't want to waste that much on an older truck. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it that I have right now. I don't have much going on. And so yeah, it's gonna be some feedback if y'all wanna see some videos. Probably the thing I will um, put is the, is the lift kit, the body lift, I mean. And then after that will be the exhaust. And then after that will be the lights. Um, let's admit, let's go outside here. I'm going to turn, turn the camera the other way. All right, I'm back. I'm using my phone to record. I'm using the iPhone X, the first one. Hopefully, it's good quality. Um, I am in my parents' house. Uh, I do work from their house since I live in an apartment. I wasn't kicked out. It was just... I'm married and have a daughter, you know, I needed my space. Um, talking about a little bit of myself, you know, my first video, so I guess I had to introduce myself, you know. Um, I'm an operation manager from home for my dad's construction company, Utilities. We do work on the metro area and been working here for about a year. Um, I'm 23. All right, guys. Well, I'm about to sign out. I'm here on the patio. Um, tell me what you guys think. Um, if you guys want and get, I will make a video of the bottle lift. Um, I would consider buying a GoPro and a stand. It's just to make it easier on me because for some reason, the phone overheats when I have it recording for a long time, mostly outside. I don't want to mess up my phone. Rather, just get a GoPro or something. And um, yeah, I mean, I'll record everything I have that I said I would do. Um, positive feedback, guys, you know, or negative, you know, what, tell me what you guys think, what I should do. I'll figure things out, you know. Peace, though. Thank you for watching the video.